A couple of years ago, I read a book I think that a lot of us have read by now called The Emperor Wears No Clothes, and it was uh, uh, in that book, there was a reprint of an article. The, the one thing in, in that book that I saw that could not be argued with was an article that came out in the 1938 edition of uh, Popular Mechanics magazine, February edition, if okay. anybody wants to go check mm -hmm. it out, uh, that said, a, billion, a new billion dollar crop for the farmers. Most people that I talked to had no idea, just like me, that hemp and marijuana was the same thing. Uh, we were ignorant of that fact. Uh, also, we were ignorant of the fact that hemp could be used as food. Uh, it can be used as clothing. The first Levi's in this country were made from uh, hemp. Uh, the first uh, Bibles uh, yeah. were printed on hemp paper. Uh, the Declaration of Independence, the first two copies of this was printed on hemp paper. People don't know that. The leading agricultural crop there in 1937 was hemp. Uh, when they took that away from the farmers, it was like it would be like taking wheat away from Kansas, cotton away from Texas. Okay. It's just uh, devastating what has happened to the farmers in that area since their leading agricultural crop, which as we've all seen, <clears throat> is a very beneficial and not only beneficial necessary plant that the earth needs. Mm -hmm. uh, if it wasn't supposed to be there, the big guy wouldn't put it there. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't make no mistakes. So he put him here for a reason. Uh, one of the reasons, I believe, is that the root is like 10 to 12 inches long, okay. which literally holds the planet together. Now, what happens when you eradicate a plant from the planet? If you check history, every civilization that has gone under since the beginning of time has gone under because of soil erosion and the inability of the people to be able to feed themselves. Uh, now, is that a serious problem today? Look at Bangladesh. Yeah, really uh, look at the places on the planet where hemp has been made illegal to grow. Uh, in the state of Iowa, that state in the last hundred years has lost over 50% of its topsoil. Wow. So we're talking, we're talking about farming areas wow. that are going down the drain because of some stupid, not stupid, some very uh, well-planned conspiracy to take the hemp plant off the planet to keep it from being competition to the other products that it would be competition to, your petrochemicals, your paper. Uh, all the textiles. Now, uh, business is business, as they say, and anything is fair in love and war. Yeah. But when you start taking something that valuable away from the planet, you're affecting other things other than just business associates. You're affecting the, the, our children who eat, and, and uh, uh, we're, you're affecting yourself and me. We're taking food away from uh, healthy food away from. Uh, uh, our families, and we're taking the healthy soil away from our planet. Knowledge, education, uh, I think this is the first thing that has to be done. The, the, the American farmer has to be made aware that 50 years ago this was a legal crop, and why was it taken away? I think he has to start asking himself, why is this hidden from me? Let his, let his curiosity start growing. Why did my grandfather mm -hmm plant him, and why can I not plant him? Mm -hmm. Now, I've heard all about the big scare of the marijuana thing, but most people who have lived any length of time at all and have been around anything at all in this, on this planet knows that if we have any serious problems in the world, which we do, marijuana is not one of them. No, 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 no not really. <laughs> not one of them. When you start listening to our serious problems, it's way down on the list somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and it might be even one of our greatest assets that has been disguised to make uh, appear to be a bad guy. Uh, so I think what the farmer should do, and not only the farmer, every taxpayer out there, everybody who is affected, everybody who eats food, should start wondering yep. why are we so kept in the dark over this one plant, the hemp plant? The fact that you're able to do this television show and I'm here talking on it and if people are able to watch it on their television, it means that this idea uh, has come. Uh, it's time for people to, to consider it and make a decision one way or another. And uh, it's, it's a question you have to ask yourself. Is it important? 
Is the planet worth saving? Uh, can hemp really save the planet? If it can, why is it kept such a secret from us? Ask yourself these questions, call around, do some research, and uh, make your own conclusions. It's a threat to uh, the petrochemicals. Uh, it's a threat to uh, synthetic energy. Uh, so naturally, it's, it's going to be a, a, a battle to be fought. Farmaters funds uh, many different organizations, uh, agricultural movements in all the states, all the areas, and it's very simple to find out who in your area represents the farmers, the, uh, the Farmers Alliance or whatever. Uh, there's, there's many, many organizations, and uh, you can look in your phone book or ask your neighbor and find out who. Or you can also call 1-800-FARM-AID.